All right, so there were a couple of you that uh, actually it was Jen Atkins that emailed and asked the question, how can I print out my grades for my, uh, for my students so that I could post them in the classroom? All right, so Ms. Just, it's all up to you to show us how. All right, so um, you know how to get into Gradebook. So once you're in your Gradebook, it's pretty simple. You want to go to Reports over here. Okay, so click on Reports. And you have a list of drop-down options. So there's two possibilities. If you want to print one to post in the classroom, right. then you go to Section Summary. And from there, you would want to change it to show student numbers because you don't want student names. Right. You can then choose what you want it to show. Do, so do you want it to show um, assignment descriptions, post possible? So you can go in progress grade. So you can click on here what you want to go. Um, for the grading task grid, you might want to unclick this kind of stuff, show percent only. You don't need to show final grade. Um, so again, you can make your choices here. Uh, you could sort by student number. That way kids don't know because alphabetical, they figure it out. So you can sort by their number because that they won't know. And then you can unselect certain students if you want. You could even do it random if you're really worried about it. Okay. And then you just generate the report. It'll give you a preview of it. Hopefully I did everything correctly. And then there you go. So this is, um, this shows their third quarter grade because this is my advanced biology IB class and so I haven't entered in assignments yet except for their third quarter grade. It lists their percentage and then their in progress grade in the class. And then you could post that. Notice it's got student numbers. Mine are numerical in order. So no, nobody has any idea who's who except for themselves. And that's how you would do one to post. And you'd repeat the same process for each class period you'd want to do that with. You would just select a different class from the drop-down menu. Make sure you're in term HQ4. And you could just do the same thing. Okay. okay. Real quick question or uh, just an observation because um, I have it posted in my room. But I think that students like this a lot better because not only do they see every assignment that you've had in the quarter, but they see the potential points for it, when it was due, when you assigned it, and then they get to go across the grid and see what they got for every assignment. Right. And so but for, for that kind of thing, for that kind of thing, what I would do is a student summary. So a student summary prints out a summary for each individual student. Okay. And here you have different options. You can actually just do a grade summary with multiple students per page, or you can actually show assignment detail. So that's what you were talking about was right there. So you would go assignment detail, um, so name, percent, so you could click what you wanted, assign date, um, take off uh, group name, we don't need that, score comments, um, so whatever happened, you want points possible, due date, description, if you wanted a description, um, Show assignment groups if you want. I'm going to show final grade total points. Um, so you could do whatever you chose to do. Right. Um, you could, if you want them to take it home, get it signed. You can add your parent signature line. Um, again, the other thing too is attendance summary. I like that. Yeah. Too. So you could do attendance summary. So that way it shows there. Um, again, if you wanted to show their student number and say the name, you could click that. Um, in this particular one, because I'm giving it out to each individual student, I probably would choose to use their student name. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I might want to have on here. I don't want percent necessarily. Um, okay, so then you could, let's try it. I haven't done this yet, so let's see how this works. Well, it's, it's and so, the, and there you go. So, so for here, so it lists the different things. Um, it lists their semester grade, their third quarter grade. It tells you how what percent of their semester grade that's worth. Same thing with assessments, and it lists their category scores. So these are category percentages. It tells here's their absences. Um, gives some details here. What their score is like tells this kid this one's missing. Okay, so they weren't, they didn't take it, and then parent signature and date. So this is the kind of thing that if you want, and then each student is there, that if you were going to actually want to hand something to the student to take home, this is what you would use. Okay. So you would use the student summary 
So section summary, so to review, if you want something to post in the classroom, then section summary is what you want to use. If you want to give something to the students to have for themselves, you use student summary. Right. And then you could also, for your own, put out a list of just missing assignments um, and so on. So that's, that's pretty much how you would run a report, depending on what the purpose of your report was. I want one more question because sure. I saw something in here, and that is right here where it says grade book export. I, yeah. There's a lot of us that still want to keep a backup Mm -hmm. copies is how we do that. Yeah, so that's what at the end of the semester you could go ahead and do that. You could export it as an Excel file. Okay. Into right. and then and then save it so that way you have it. Yeah. Okay. So once again, if you have any other questions, you can email uh, Shauna or myself directly, especially if you um, want us to do a tutorial for you that would help you. There's also of course the uh, email address which I'll put up on the screen right now. And that is just a general email that goes what? To you and who else? Um, goes to the four instructional coaches plus Rhonda. Okay. And then if, if it's a particular problem, one of us will take will respond. So. All right, excellent. And, uh, so th thanks so much, uh, Sean. Appreciate your help with this. And, uh, and again, more questions, give us an email.